Rockliffe had to go and get it wide to Buick. This looks better. Positive start. Adcock, the captain, needs to finish. Bangs it towards goal. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Although there is a way that you can actually win and your percentage go down. Dramatically enough. You win by a point. Yeah, that's right. Zorka grabbed fourth spot. Well, that's right. If they can get three or four percent more than Port, it means they've probably got a... Oh, big Mark Freeman. What a magnificent nice ride. They got a good ride too. Yeah, the, the last two games were probably a bit like the first two, um, playing against you know, the best teams where every mistake you make um, costs you on the scoreboard. So they're the lessons you learn against good teams. Often you make mistakes against the lower teams and it, it doesn't cost you the ultimate, but it does against the best. So um, you know, that's why you have to train hard. That's why you have to do every rep at training to your highest of your standard because the, the opposition make you to do that and the best teams make you play well in all phases of the game for every moment of the game. Um, so that's where our consistency needs to increase. Initiative. From the umpiring department, here's Taylor. Got rid of one, had a little Clever. kick. And the biggest improvements is a tough one because there's so many uh, kids that debuted this year that got better as the year got on. I mean, when you saw Dan McStay, when he first arrived, you think he may not play throughout the year and to finish the year not just playing but having an impact at both ends of the ground was really good. So his rate of improvement was, um, was terrific within 12 months. Obviously, Louis Taylor and James Osh, Darcy Gardner was very consistent throughout the whole season. So, um, and to get sort of Jordan Burke in there very late in the year, he showed a lot of composure in his one and only game for the year at the end as well. So that, that's great. And I, I even think some of the players that have been here a few years, their improvement, Dane Zorko's year, um, to me, he's, he was terrific in pre-season. Took another step and ended up playing midfield by the end of the year and getting high numbers. Rowan Buick started the season out of the team and came into the team and became a very good player for us, as did Ryan Harwood. So there's a lot of players even that have been here a few years that, it, that I think that sort of you know bolsters the, and thickens up our list. I really think that that, that was a, a really important part as well, that we've got some players that have been here for a while on the edge that uh, became regular members by the end of the year. Here they go, through the middle, Adcock dabs it, it's Aish, he gathers himself, he gives it to Harwood from 35 metres, that could be just about You can reel off a lot of names this year with players that have improved, so that is the, the pleasing sign for the football club that um, our graph is going the right way whilst we're not winning the ultimate prize yet and not even getting into the, the finals race, at least our players are improving and that's a good sign for the future favour of Brisbane. This is where the game's turned around. They march forward again. Maloney goes for broke. Yeah, obviously I think it's been enough time with Jen. Um, what, obviously spent more time watching him from the sidelines than working with him as a, as a coach. And it's unfortunate his body sort of fell in this year. Um, I was excited to sort of work with him and become sort of the heart of the, that midfield for us and, and be the senior member in there. But to sort of struggle with continuity with his body and um, couldn't get that out there, so it was disappointing. Um, you know, we tried several things to get him up and about, but um, yeah, he, his work around the change rooms is terrific. He's he actually does a, he's done a lot of work with James Aish and a lot of the younger players to sort of help them with their football careers. So he was terrific for us. Well, Aish is sort of it's you know it's a bit of a sad day to lose one of our um, feels like one of our lifelong legends in Ash because um, he's a, our last Premiership player. To, you know, to play for us and it's, he really was a sign at the end of the era when he left. Um, obviously a dynamic player that can win a game off his own boot and they're, they're hard to find players like that so he's going to be sorely missed. Back, Brown again with Thompson, now Pollock gets there and Brown actually stole it from him. Yeah, the big guy, um, well I'll see him around from a coaching capacity and he'll always be one of my good mates but uh, yeah, disappointed. Disappointing for the fans too, I mean I know Brownie was you know, probably the, the crowd favourite as well so there's a bit of a void there that someone needs to fill as becoming a, not just a great leader and a great player for us, but also um, someone that the crowd love and you know, I'm going to miss seeing as well. So disappointing from a club perspective to lose a big guy as well.